Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 445. Each week yeah, we uh, meet here to uh, review the questions and answers given on, on the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. With us tonight, we have Masataki Wasa. Masataki is webmaster of whatstheweb.net. He's also a Google product expert on the uh, uh, um, Google uh, AdSense uh, community. Sorry about that. And um, Masataki resides in Wimbledon, uh, in uh, close to the centre of London. Tim Kappa is uh, based about 100 miles north um, at Corby. Um, he's also a Google product expert uh, in the Google My Business community. Uh, you can find Tim at onlineownership.com. Uh, okay, um, let's have a look at the questions tonight. Paddy Cothraid uh, asked our first question. Uh, uh, and it's titled, Is it a good idea to remove the local schema? Patty said, Hey guys, I have an e commerce site that can only ship uh, to specific areas in California, Nevada, and Arizona. I noticed that the previous person working on it added local schema to all product pages. And I'm thinking that that isn't necessarily the best route. Uh, can someone uh, give me your thoughts uh, if it would be a good idea to remove it? And also uh, some additional ideas that I should consider um, for uh, e-commerce. Thanks. Um, yeah, I don't think, uh, like, I'm just trying to understand how they would have added local schema into your uh, e-commerce. Um, I'm guessing it was yeah your shipping details like uh stockbridge has said um apart from that um that on on a local business you can have a a, a radius a, a, a shipping uh, to, uh, you know a service radius i don't think either of them are going to it's not going to break anything. It's not going to make it or break it. Um, but of course, as Stockbridge says, if you're going to be using um, Google products, yeah, it, it would be applicable. Um, but I don't think, apart from that, it's not going to, it's not going to uh, make or break anything. Um, I've got a, uh local econ business they they are they obviously their address is in schema because they are in a physical location they're not just online they do have a physical location but they also ship too um but we aren't bothered with google products or um uh integrating with merchant center so therefore we we haven't implemented and it it hasn't helped them back in any way shape or form so I guess it depends on what you actually want to do. If you are going to use Google Merchant Center and products, you would need to. But apart from that, it's it's I don't think it will be it won't be a problem. Excellent, Tim, thank you. Before I move on, I, I, I've got to thank um, Stockbridge uh, Treslow uh, for the uh, wonderful job he does on the uh, uh, Facebook uh, group. Um, yeah. All right, let's go to number two on our run list from Alexander, um, a web designer. I don't think that's her real name. Um, Anyway, um, what else should be done to improve the rankings uh, um, is the title. 
Uh, Alexander said, uh, hello, I built a nice looking and fast website for a local business, created Google My Business, uh, the account, uh, created, oh yeah, and filled all of the data and put a lot of time and energy into compiling a lot of local business directories backlinks. Still, the website is at the bottom of the first page of search engine results pages. And although most of the competitor websites didn't invest half of the effort to be there. So what else should be done to improve the rankings? Uh, am I missing something? I think it's going to be difficult to give a, a, a definitive answer without knowing the, the site. Yeah. And I, I really don't like it when people like compare to a competitor and assuming that they put more effort in um, because you have no idea what they've actually done. You're literally just doing a, a brief analysis on it. Um, um, do, do we have a website to look at? I don't think so. No, I don't think there was, was there? Um, okay, so what is like, what type of content do you have on this? Uh, are we just looking at one keyword? Are we looking at a few broad keywords and that's about it? Um, do we have any content? Uh, I don't know what it is. It's local, local business. Um, what kind of it? Are we looking at uh, longer tail queries, um, you know, helping the user make a purchasing decision. Is it one of those or is it just something like emergency plumber where you know you need an emergency plumber? Um, yeah, yeah, I would, I would start expanding. Um, start expanding also i mean you say local like is it services uh can we look at improving or expanding uh in terms of your work like if you do services in a particular area um can we you know there's there's a whole load of things but unfortunately without uh, can you give us a website so we can have a quick look at and and throw some ideas at your, your way we can do that. If um, if you don't um, um, if you don't want to publicly put your website there, you can send it to me, and I'll um, distribute it to, to um, the people in our uh, hangout um, next week. All right, um, let's go now to number three on our run list. Colin uh, Kelly Platt um, asked the question is titled, how many backlinks will I need to be able to rank higher? Um, Kelly said, I have a question. How do I know how many backlinks I'll need to be able to rank higher? Does anyone know how to find this out? I see Tim, you said something there through the week. Yeah, it's like, it depends, <laughs> you know. Um, because nothing is equal in the eyes of Google, you know, uh, I'll, it's just, you know, um, and even if you did a competitor analysis and you saw, okay, look, this guy's got 10, it, it, it doesn't, you know, it's, it's still, it's still different because you're not going to go and find just those 10, are you? Um, so you could have 50 links from local citations, which is IE directories, okay? Or 100 or 500, but I, I wouldn't be that silly. You know, 50 is probably the top tier ones and that's about it. Or you could have one from, I don't know, some like, I don't know. You, you could have one from Forbes, just one single one from Forbes where somebody came across your product, 
which it was like, holy shit, this is the best thing since sliced bread for housewives. Okay. And recommends your products and provides one single link. And that's enough to run you for the next 20 years worth of sales as much as you can manufacture. Right. Um, so it, it really, it, it really does depend on where they are, you know, what the specific space is and, you know, here's another thing. You may never need to build a backlink like ever. Um, I've got clients and competitive niches where we just provide good resources um sometimes purely technical sometimes with a little bit of humor in it sometimes um they've got a they've got one like a uh, one of the people in the actual uh one of the locations is considers themselves a bit of an amateur videographer create some cracking internal content which gets viewed a lot um has built up its own little unique form of followings. It, it, it all depends on what works with you, what you can do, and it's not always about backlinks. Um, but if you're in some seriously niche, hardcore, vertical, um, looking at things like how many backlinks I need is one, is not gonna help you because you may see competitors on page one with half a million links and you'd be like holy shit you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm how am i ever going to do this and then you start dropping the ball you start creating patterns you start just uh, co cocking things up um i would probably look at um you know building up your networking capabilities to where the fact that you can actually confidently contribute or be quoted or sourced in other relevant things it's not just how many backlinks do i need okay thank you tim yes let's move on to number four Um, Raghav Manager, um, he's, he's posted a question. Someone has posted something about my business on Reddit. Um, he said, now that appears on Google search results, is there a way to get rid of it or possibly push it down in the search results? See, Michael Martinez um, came out with some plain talk. Um, doesn't mince words. He said, you cannot get rid of it and do not respond to anything said there. But don't draw attention to it. The discussion will eventually die down and be closed and archived. As for pushing it down the search results, sure. Um, basic uh, search reputation management calls for you to publish content about your site on multiple sites, you may have to link to it. And there's a list of things that not to do, don't write fake reviews, publish anything controversial, don't give anyone anything to criticise. Joel thinks that ignoring negative reviews is not good customer service. yeah totally reddit isn't a customer service it's not a customer platform it's not like trustpilot or anything like that or you know um yeah it's 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 not it's it's not something either that appears within you know if somebody's searching for a product and then they're looking for reviews reddit doesn't surface within it of course that it's written there it's going to appear within search but yeah yeah it's not it's not like a review platform um yeah i would just follow all the steps from from michael yeah yeah, um, yeah. Michael, michael would be dealing with um well maybe hundreds um um of, of um, sites and um 
Yeah, so given the given the um, the question, you know, I'd I'd back Michael in every time. All yeah. right. Yeah. Um, as others said, I'll let it die. And there's a danger in Reddit that if you respond, that might draw in other people and keep the thread alive, which you want to avoid. Because whereas most review platforms, uh, you know, you have the right to respond. It's between you and the customer. Third parties don't join in the fray. But with Reddit, you know, things can get out of hand. So as Mark Martin has said, just, you know, forget about it. Cool. Thank you, Mesa. All right, uh, number five on our run list. Um, it's titled a quick question about the URL structure for a blog it's from Joe Arcaria. Um, quick question about the URL structure for a blog out of the options website.com slash blog hyphen title or the automatically generated website.com slash blog slash entries slash category slash blog title is one more SEO friendly than the other or does it not matter too much? Um, before I go with what Jeff Ferguson said, um, I think um, it, it's um, probably uh, don't, don't, don't care about it. Um, the the um, URL. Uh, anyway, let's, let's see what Jeff Ferguson had to say. He said, shorter is better for humans. And Google does like a shallow site and all those extra directories can make for a mess at some point, so best not to bother. Um, SEO impact is probably minimal, but don't uh, invite the opportunity for trouble. All right. Um, yeah, uh, and, but I just want to just go back to that. If you've already got a lot of content on the site, right, and it's basically just on forward slash blog, uh, or sometimes if you're WordPress, you, you may, when it was originally set up, may not even have blog in it, right? It may just be domain forward slash title, right? Um, if, uh, and, and then it's going to be, you know, obviously changing things around could be a little bit. However, if you've got a site where it, where you've you know you've planned out your content you planned out how you're going to you know your different your different categories within this and they're they're good categories and they're necessary to slightly separate them not just having them all on a like a on, on a complete landing page um and it makes sense then it can certainly when you set it up into you know uh blog forward slash category forward slash by the title and those are completely separated into them not just willy-nilly selecting categories they can actually do those category top line category pages can do very 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 well okay um but they need to make sense you can't like you, you can't just do like um uh i don't know tips for landlords and then um landlord best practice and then um landlord legislation you know you should you know if you it, those are two kind of too close because they would all all fit under you know uh tips for landlords or landlord best practice as a whole right um but if it then went from landlord to tenants that's a completely separate entity in itself and that would make sense to then have for tenants, you know, tenants advice or best practice or whatever. And anything to do with tenants would be nested under that. And you can split those up more. But what I'm saying is if they are within the business, but that makes sense to separate them and you're doing it from that today, then it would it can actually be really, really good. 
equally, you can also do that with tags. Now, I don't like people just slap dash tags everywhere. But if you're clever with your tags, you can also do that. Um, but they need to be separate. They need to be unique. And they need to matter to the entity. But you can actually, uh, by using it like that, if you already have them on, um, fine, just tidy them up. Uh, if you have never used them and your categories are like where I'm saying fine line, quite similar, there's no point. But if they do make sense to be separate entities, yes, it's worth the effort in um, separating them all out and it can benefit. Thank you, Tim. Uh... Okay, let's go to number six on our run list. Um, Juan De La Salle Jr. Uh, has a question. It's titled, is, is the keywords meta tag in the head still relevant in Google and Bing? I think we haven't had, heard that question for a while. Um, he said, I, but one goes on to say, I see some top ranked sites with them and without them. Uh, perhaps they are relevant to other search engines. Nope, 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 nope. Um, yeah. It's not going to make a break. It's not going to do any difference. But no, I mean, most of them are publicly stated that they don't use them. Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's simple enough, isn't it? Um, actually, uh, I think um, the Russian one um, did for a time, but I don't think they still do. But um, um, Google and Bing, um, just because it was being totally spammed, um, don't do it anymore. All right, Christina Lee has a question number seven on our list. It's a title of moving a subdomain and all of its content uh, to a new URL. Christina said, hello, we're looking to move a subdomain and all of its content to a new URL, brackets, that will no longer be a subdomain, uh, help.website.com, um, slash website dot atlassian.net slash wiki. Uh, my question is, how might this impact the main domain and its ranking authority after the move? How can I go about researching a potential impact on that uh, and overall site visits, uh, just so we're aware of the implications? Uh, and also, if there are any resources or suggestions for mitigation strategies um, that might help, um, that would be incredibly appreciated as well. Uh, thank you in advance for any input. Yeah. Um, well, the, 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 that's um, Michael Martinez's uh, answer here. Um, he said that. Yeah, I, I agree. But you really need to just make sure that you uh, um, have, um, you know, double check all your all, all, all your links in between, you know, your interlinking um and make sure that you know you don't break anything there and then in theory uh once you know google moves through it it should be you know uh, a fairly simple migration thank you tim okay let's go to number eight on our run list 
Um, why is this site not showing in Google searches? Um, it's is a question from Chris Leonard. Um, he goes on to say, um, uh, www.neilbales.com um, until a few weeks ago was showing for Knoxville slash Tennessee mortgage um, at around page eight of, of search results. I added some pages where I took the verbiage from Wikipedia. I realized that was wrong and deleted the pages or changed to coming soon. I don't believe I've blocked Google, Google bot crawler in the robots text and have not set um, a page um, to no index or tick the discourage search engines from indexing this site uh, box in WordPress. He said that also when I search site at full colon neilbales.com um, in Google, the, the site comes up. So I don't believe it's been de indexed. However, I'm fairly new to this, so some of my assumptions may be wrong, or maybe I'm missing something. Thank you for any feedback. So uh, I think this is the one where Michael asked me how to look at it. Michael uh, had a look in, I think it was Michael, had a look in the Wayback, Wayback Machine. And essentially the site was, uh, I think, by December last year, so basically before this redesign, I think. <coughs> um, uh, you know, it was optimized for local. I think on the, the you know, the title was uh, mortgages, uh, Knoxville, Tennessee, and now it's been changed or when they updated it or whoever did whatever, it just basically goes home and brand name. Um, nothing, you know, anything localized has actually been removed from it. Um, and then I thought, you know, then I had a little look on way back or so, and then also on the current site. Um, and there's a second home page, exactly the same on a forward slash home page, um, things like this. And anything where it was optimized for local previously, just, you know, and I'm talking basic, like in the title of pages and that, it's all just reverted back to standard WordPress, like, um, page you know site name um so anything in terms of localization uh and optimized is is out the window so yeah they i mean in this instance go back to wayback machine and you can just check all your initial titles and your um you know your descriptions for those pages uh and, and and copy and paste them back in basically if you wanted to obviously there's some pages may have changed slightly um and then just double check copy on page like um i think the one actually did have in an h1 or an h2 somewhere you know knoxville mortgages or, or we provide uh which was no longer in that body copy so just add that back in um yeah so uh, it's lucky that way back found it beforehand because it's it's basically just giving you your answer you were you you de-optimized the site or whoever updated the site de-optimized it yeah thank you tim all right let's check out our last question for the evening ryan wesley asked the question that he said uh, what types of links does everyone use other than guest post um he said i'm trying to get more link diversity but I, I can't find much that indexes within 30 days citations listings comments web to all seem either to not index or take a long time i see the the uh, Ever reliable Michael Martinez. The, the slide, the slide hasn't updated, Jim. Oh, um, am I frozen? Am I? Well, I don't know. Does your, your slide hasn't moved to the next one? 
Right, so hang on, scroll up. Can you see it now? No? No. Oh, this is a bit of a worry. Um, well, no worries, we can carry on, but if people um, watching, they'll get confused with the slides if they're not moving up, so. Because they'll keep reading that and they'll be listening to us going, well, what, what the hell are they talking about? <laughs> <laughs> that's true. Yes, that's true. Right, well, we'll try this. You see it now? No, it hasn't, it hasn't changed. Or for me, it hasn't. Masataki, can you see it? It's stuck on question eight. Okay, so we'll erase it. Scroll up. Stop. How about that question nine? No. Oh, I'm sorry. I've got some sort of a glitch here. I can't fix it. Um, Maybe just see. remove the slide because it'll just confuse people. Yeah. Okay. Um, how about that? Um, let me see. No, I'm, I'm, it's beyond my control, Tim. I'm sorry. Um, let me see. Uh, all I can do is put it there and um, hope that it comes uh, comes back. Well, why don't you just stop presenting it and then we can just carry on with the next questions. Um, the, 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 the one that the, the, the last question is number nine. All right. Um, oh, okay, fine. And uh, yeah, I, I don't think there's much we can do. Although um, I can, I can over, over, overdub it but, um, uh, tomorrow, hopefully. Um, we'll, we'll try that. Anyway, look, um, the, the, the one thing I wanted to say, uh, um, Michael Martin has said, said, it, said it best, I think. He said that those are all obvious spam links, I wouldn't expect uh, much success from outdated strategies like those mentioned above. Um, the, this group um, advocates building good websites and creating visibility for them outside of search via um, legitimate um, marketing channels. Um, we, we, we do aim to give advice which will stand at the test of time so that you can all be encouraged to spend your best efforts in um, building quality, writing quality content and publishing um, quality content. Um, and um, not um, spend your time chasing rainbows like yeah, um web two um 
Does it sound reasonable, Masataki? Yep, sounds reasonable. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, will we, we do the thank you for watching time bit, Tim? Okay. Before we go, um, let me thank um, people like uh, um, Michael Martinez and Stockbridge Trust Low, uh, people who give excellent advice uh, as it happens on the uh, uh, Google My Business community. Did I say that? No, I'm such an idiot. Um, <laughs> as it happens on the dumb SEO questions Facebook group. Um, yeah, we'll be back at the same time next week um, to do this um, all, all again. Uh, before, before we, just before we go, I must thank Tim Kappa and Masataki Wasa for their uh, input. Um, they make um, dumb SEO questions um, such a, a valuable resource. Um, okay, I'll, I'll click a, well, if I can figure out which button to click, try this.